frozen. Oh. Yeah. So this is actually a river which you can be it can be seen properly in summer but right now it's all frozen. Mm -hmm. So it seems there are two falls here that mm -hmm. can show up in summer. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Looks so beautiful mm. all around. And you could see uh, out there in the boating, it's really nice. Mm. A lot of people fish along the river in summer. Mm -hmm. There's some in Siberia, there's Siberian huskies and yeah. And you can see dog teams in Alaska and just all across the north. So when they say dog teams, what does it actually mean? Because I have no idea. <laughs> um just like a team of dogs. A um, team of they, dogs. Like they have like usually a team of them and there's usually one dog that's the leader uh -huh. and they pull the sled oh they pull the sled yeah mm. so like that's why there's you see the, the sled they're called the puppy oh yeah there is a sled here yeah, yeah. if you see it there well, the, the group of dogs of... here would be like a team mm. and the one that's on top like that yeah you see that i think that means he's the boss he's the alpha Oh, pack. which is standing on the top? Yeah. Of this team, I think he's the alpha. Oh. You see how he's on top like that? Right. Yeah. So the dog which is on standing on top of the uh, wooden thing is alpha. He's the leader of the dog sledge. Yeah. And how many people can sit on the sledge usually? I don't know. It depends. Uh, however many people can fit on fit a sled, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Usually do they go long distance? Or? Um, I don't know very much about the dog teams. I, um, my grandpa used to be the mail delivery man, mailman, uh -huh. but he used to deliver the mail on uh, dog teams Ooh, to, wow. um, here and give me a So that was That's a long Kidu, time. is it? Yeah. Yeah, a long time ago, a long, long time ago. Right, yeah. a long time ago. <laughs> Before yeah. the skidoos were popular <laughs> or brought up here, I think. Right. Yeah. Uh, we are going back to Kaluet City right now. You see again the buildings coming up. Is there any particular area that you wanted to see? I have no idea like what areas to be on okay. <laughs> to even explore. So, so I the think the yellow building it was our old airport. Okay, okay. I think they just use it for offices now, like airport services. So what are the so we came from the other end here if you see. Uh, we went to the other end and we're coming back to the eco the city right now. So what are the areas that's good to be in the Kalua like for a newcomer like me? Um, it's a small town honestly. Uh, I think just being able to recognize which area you're in the city is probably really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice to see when you drive around in the dark and you go to Causeway because then you can see all the lights. Oh. Yeah. I would say the river is really nice to see, but it's not summer. So. Mm -hmm. Mm 
that's the main spot is that the main spot that i should have seen till now where we went um you'll see it in the summer in spring it's really nice early summer when the um, when the ice just breaks up mm -hmm. it's really nice mm -hmm. um there's still like little icebergs and stuff yeah Oh, yeah, Wendy. Wendy. So, I've, I guess you've seen this area. Yeah. <laughs> You're really familiar with this area. This one, yes. <laughs> Only till this building. <laughs> yeah. So, did they tell you what this building is? Which one? This one. Oh, the RCMP? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all I know. That's okay. it. It's an RCMP building. Okay. There's Jessica and Matt. Mm -hmm. I'll go this way. Oh yeah, I've never gone this way at all. So that would be nice to go this way too. So there's a cafe here called Black Hat Cafe in Colwood. That's the new hotel. It just opened. Mm. They make really good food. Oh, okay. I don't know if you're like restaurant food but yeah why not once in a while right yeah yeah um this is the ibc building oh is this up there in the hill ibc or that's this that house. you know broadcasting corporation oh okay Inuit broadcasting corporation so that's where they make like you know tv shows and stuff like that and if you do tv shows oh Federal Road. Yeah. Oh. And it's the road you use to get to the airport. Mm -hmm. Oh, probably this is where I came from. It's from the airport, right? Yeah. Came through. The airport is behind this building out here. Mm -hmm. I'll just show you. I was told I should go to the airport just to have a look at it. Because it, it makes you feel like you're down south. Because it's so nice. Oh. <laughs> this is the ball diamond. It's a really popular spot in the summer. Oh, okay. There's a lot of softball practiced here. Mm -hmm. A lot of teams. It's a lot of fun. Oh, nice. Yeah. Let's try it now. Yeah. And so. Yeah. Are you going to the airport? I'm just driving on the road, yeah. We can see some planes, small planes, taking off, I don't know, landing. Yes. A plane. This is the airport in Colorado. I came here in the night, uh -huh. so I didn't have a good, uh, yeah, view of what I was looking at already. That comes, so now it's good to have a look. Uh, it has some really nice art. Yeah, I was told I should go just to see the art. I don't know if you want to go in or just keep driving. Would you like to come with me? Can go I'll, in? I can wait in the car. Oh, then it's okay. I'll come again on my own. Okay. <laughs> don't want you to wait in the car. <laughs> I don't mind, actually. So this is going to be the new jail. Oh, okay. Come this on. is the extension or expansion they're working on. Mm -hmm. There's another jail over there. It's the oh. healing facility for minimal, minimum risk. Okay. Yeah. And then there's a women's jail and a youth jail on the other side of this one. Mm. Mm. Alright. So we are getting back to Federal Road. Yeah. And I'm going up this long. How do people get up on the hill? Is, is there a different route? Road or is this the road people go up? Up there? Yeah. We're on the road to go up there. Mm, I always wonder, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do they go? Yeah. So nice. Their house is built up the hill. Yeah. Actually.
I don't know if you've noticed, but here we have a lot of big vehicles and big trucks. Yeah. Um, because we have icy roads and they're sometimes they're not plowed or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot like off-road driving. Also, due to weather, sometimes it's like the roads are really snowy mm -hmm. and you don't want to get stuck. Yeah, that's why many people use trucks or big cars. Anytime I go, even just Ontario, I die because it's too hot. <laughs> yeah, it's humid, right? Yeah, yeah. it's humid. If you yeah. just feel that. Yeah. I, so yeah. that's upper base up there. Um, it's not plowed right now, so I can't drive up there. Oh. But it's nice to go up there too because it has really nice views. Okay. Because it's like the old military base a long time ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's some old military, like abandoned stuff up there, which is really cool to see. Okay. But also there's a shooting range up there. Oh wow, shooting yeah. range. So we're entering the plateau, the area of the town they call Plateau. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is called Plateau? Hmm. I thought it. We would call the the five years I think they built this whole area of the town mm. it's fairly new um, a lot of new construction and they're really close together compared to other parts of the city oh right that's yeah. true mm -hmm. it's like usual model of house residential housing close to each other right yeah a lot of nice condos not a lot of house houses mm. But it's still nice, like they built really nice ones. Like this is a really nice house. Oh yeah. yeah. When you see these houses from down, mm -hmm. it looks so pretty, like on top of the hill, right? Mm -hmm. All of these line of houses. And the ones you see are usually probably the ones out here oh. that are at the edge or the yeah yeah so these wow. ones have a nice view of the city oh my god they have amazing view yeah every sun rise and sunset yeah. they can see yeah and they can see the runway from here too oh yeah yeah, yeah. could be so pretty 